Hey guys, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video. And today I want to show you a new program that I created. And this program makes working with trend lines and trading with trend lines a whole lot easier. So you probably know the trend line tool or feature that you have in uh, the MetaTrader 4 and 5. And you can like press this button here, draw a trend line, and then you can pre uh, can yeah show the trend lines somewhere on the chart. And uh, what you can do is you can put these trend lines somewhere, you can right click them, you can go to properties, <clears throat> and you can change a lot of things here. You can, for example, change the array on the left and the right side, you can change the color, you could say change this to, uh, change this to red, for example, you can change um, the width or the thickness of this um, line and everything. But this is always a little bit, yeah, of a work to do because you have to go here, right click, uh, properties, blah, 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 and then you can change the properties. And if you want to do this for multiple lines, <clears throat> uh, it's kind of a lot of work. And this is why I wanted to create a tool that makes working with trend lines a lot easier. So this tool is the trend line trader EA and I can activate it on this charts. A chart, there are not a lot of inputs, um, just the magic number for the trades that it opens. And then if you activate it, it will create this small um, panel in the upper left corner of the chart. So what I can do here is I can click on new line and this will automatically place a new line at the current price level and I can double click it and you can see I can now drag and drop it wherever I want. So this is a lot faster and I could for example say that, I don't know, I want to, um, um, wait, let me place it here. Uh, I want to have this long trend here in the USD Japanese Yen. So I place my trend line somewhere here. So you can see I now have this trend line on the daily chart. And I can also change the thickness of this um, really quickly if I just change the width here. So you can say I, make, I can make this bigger and smaller. I can also change the ray to the right side. Uh, I can change the ray to the left side. And everything is really uh, easy and I can also change the color for this line. Yeah, this could be my first line, for example, on the uh, daily chart. Then I could go down to the um, four hour chart and here you can still see these, uh, this daily line. And I know it's a daily line because it's really thick. And I could create a new line here on the four hour chart. And now I can, for example, say I want this downtrend here. I don't know. Maybe I can yeah, attach it to, to these um, highs here. Wait, I want to have this one. So I have this downtrend and I could say the width is not five, but it's three, for example, because it's the four hour chart. And then I can only, uh, I can also change um, the color, for example, to have another color for every time frame. And I could also like remove the ray on the left side to clearly see where everything starts. And yeah, the good thing is if I change time frames, I can still see my complete analysis. And I know that like, for example, I choose the blue color for the H1 chart, uh, H4 chart or the red color for the, for the daily chart. And also if this panel is too big, you can also deselect every uh, line or you can just like double click the selected line and it will deselect everything and then this panel is really small again. And then I can, for example, go to the H1 chart and also search for um, for signals here. But I think the H1 trend is pretty much the same as the uh, H4 trend, I would say. But what I can do here is, or what I could do here is, I could say I want another line here and I could say, for example, Maybe we choose, um, I don't know, these highs, or I can uh, choose uh, to place this line um, like a little bit above the uh, H4 line. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I don't want to make a chart analysis here. Just want to explain the tool. And I could say the width here is um, maybe even smaller. And this could be, a really small line, for example, and then I could say this is a dashed line or a dotted line and make sure to change the width to one for dotted lines because otherwise it wouldn't work. And then I could also say, and let's, let's make it a two 
a dash line. I could say I make this, uh, I don't know, yellow. And no, you cannot really see yellow. I want to make this green. And if this line is touched, then I want to open a buy position. So I can go to signal, open this drop down menu, and I could say I want to buy if the price hits this green line. And what I can do here is I can say I want to trade 0.5% of my account. This, of course, only works if I um, at a stop loss distance. I could say I want to have a stop loss distance of 100 points, um, which is not a lot as I see here. So I could say, for example, 500 points like this and a TP distance of 1000 points. I mean, these are just uh, random values. Um, and I can, I can say I want to add a order comment here. And if this line is now touched at any time by the price, it will open this buy position with 0.5 percent of my account and a thousand points for the TP, 500 points for the SL, which would be a take profit of 1% if it comes to the account balance, of course. So um, yeah, so this will open a buy position whenever this line is touched for the first time, like from the from above or below, it doesn't really matter. Just when it, when it is touched for the first time, this will open a buy position. And of course, um, it would take some time to test this. So let me just move it really close to the current price. And if the next tick jumps above this line, it will open the buy position. Yes, okay, there it is. So the price jumped above this line and you can see uh, two things happen. First of all, it resets the signal here to none. So it does not open more positions if the line is touched again. And also we can see this buy position and you can see there is a buy position and the stop loss is, uh, it should be 1000 points away. If we didn't uh, receive any slippage, oh, 500 points, sorry. And the TP should be 1000 points away. And if the um, trade would hit the stop loss, this should be a loss of 0.5% of the account because the lot size is calculated and it is now 0.08. Um, Lots. And I could also say I want to place a sell stop, sell limit, whatever, if this line is touched. So I can go here, sell stop, and I could say I want to risk um, a, or I want to open a fixed lot size of 0.1. I want to have a order distance for the sell stop order of uh, 100 points or 50 points or whatever, doesn't really matter. And I want to have a TP of 200 points and a SL of 300 points. And my order comment is sell stop. So if I set up everything like this and the line is touched again, it will open a sell stop order now because this is again activated here and I also have a, um, I also set a valid lot size. So um, yeah, if you want to use this tool, I would suggest that you first of all um, put in the order distance, the TP, the SA, the order comment, and then as a last uh, thing to do, you change the lot size because if this is greater than zero, or if this is a valid lot size, the EA will trade. And if it is zero and the line is touched, it will not trade, of course, because it cannot open zero lots. So let's wait um, some more time until this line is touched again. Okay, there it was touched. And now you can see it places this sell stop order 100 points below the, uh, the price. And also we see this TP 200 points and the SA um, with 300 points just as I um, yeah as I set everything up here. So you can see this is how you can work with the tool. So let me close the positions here real quick. So um, yeah, if you want to work, work with the tool, I would suggest that you choose um, like different colors for the different time frames. So you know really quickly what time frame this. Um, uh, trend line belongs to. Also, um, what I think is uh, smart to do, um, if you have a line, for example, that should open a position, you can make it a dashed or dotted line. So you know that this line is now, um, yeah, it's active and it will open a position when it is reached. So if I would, uh, if I would go here and say none, I could change this back to solid. So I know that this is just a visual line and it will not, not open any position. So yeah, um, also what more can I say? I think this is pretty much it. This is what this 
tool can do. So the idea of this is um, that you can easily um, analyze different markets. You can easily analyze different um, uh, different time frames, and you can also set up your trend lines to trigger a order. So for example, if you want to um, place a order, if this blue line is reached, it would be a really time consuming task to sit in front of the PC or to modify the order every hour or every four hours because the um, there's a new bar and the value for the line changes. So this is the task that this EA can, yeah, can do for you. So yeah, this is the first version that I want to release for this Trendline Trader tool. And um, it's probably not like perfect, perfect because I didn't want to add too many functions before um, someone uses it. And I really want to listen to your feedback if you like the current version or if you need more functionalities. And if so, what kind of functionalities do you need? And if there are a lot of people using the program and if there are many requests, I, um, I'm willing to add more functions to this Trendline Trader tool. Maybe I could also add trailing stops and stuff, but yeah, I will only do this if, um, if people really use the program and if nobody uses it, it doesn't really make sense to put too much time into it. So I hope you like the tool. This is the Trendline Trader. Feel free to use it. I will upload it to MQL5 and you can find it there. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video and um, have a great time and good, trade. good trades. Bye bye.